house that gave me the chills. It wasn't the weather outside. It was actually that package. I love Halloween, so I'm excited. We actually have a good forecast for it, too. That's coming up a little bit later. Let's talk about yesterday, though. We were actually below average. First time in a little while. Hit a high of 51 degrees. We're supposed to be at 54. Appleton, you hit 54. And Fond du Lac, you made it to 56 yesterday. But look at St. Louis. They hit a high of 81 degrees yesterday. That's some summer heat. Not too far away from the mid-40s that were in Minnesota. Now this morning, the sun still isn't up yet. We don't see the sunrise until 721 this morning. But we'll take the warmer temperatures compared to yesterday morning. We're 5 to nearly 20 degrees warmer. When you step out the door, we're into those upper 40s to low 50s along the lakeshore and into the southern Fox Valley area. But Appleton, you're sitting at 39 right now and 33 into Pembine, just one degree away from that freezing mark. Plus, these winds are quite pesky. They are sustained, a constant wind out of the north up to 20 miles per hour. That's constantly going, gusting into the 30s, 33 mile per hour gust into Sheboygan right now this morning. Thankfully, you're not feeling a wind chill there, but into Appleton you are. It actually feels like below freezing right now. It feels like 30 degrees when you head outside this morning. So grab that thicker jacket, the windbreaker is definitely, and we're going to stay cloudy as we head through our day today because a very strong system is just to the south of us. It is hitting Milwaukee with some heavy rainfall, high winds into the Chicagoland area, flood warnings, flash flood watches. They've gotten about four to six inches of continuous rain. It was dark and dreary all day yesterday for them. And even wind gusts up to 47 miles per hour at the DuPage Airport from this system alone. So as it continues off into the Ohio Valley here today, we're going to see our winds get stronger. We're also going to see chances of some lake effect scattered sprinkles. So that'll be closer to the lake where you could see some of those showers. Otherwise, though, today just mostly cloudy and very breezy with winds sustained into the 20s, gusting to near 40 by this afternoon. So that's going to put about 18 foot waves out on the lake. Gale warning in effect as that system tracks right over there. Now as it kicks on out of here, a high pressure starts to follow behind it. It's going to give us clearer skies by tonight. A nice sunny day for us tomorrow. A few scattered sprinkles could linger by the lake shore, but otherwise the rest of us sitting pretty out there. Just a little bit cooler and crisper as well. Now behind this high pressure system, another system builds. That's going to be headed our way Thursday. So Wednesday starting off with sunshine, getting cloudier as the day goes on and into those evening hours before the rain hits us on Thursday. So enjoy today. Highs into the upper 40s to low 50s. Very breezy. That trash can is going to be blowing around for sure. Tonight falling down anywhere from the upper 20s to the low 40s. Depends if you're in the Northwoods or the Lake Shore. Staying a little bit warmer there. And then tomorrow we're going to climb into the mid 50s for the Northwoods. Low 50s once again here into the Fox Valley. A little bit of warm Warmth starts to build in as we push in towards Wednesday. We near 60 degrees. Then we drop down a little bit as that rain heads our way Thursday and into Friday. And then the sun comes back out. We warm up for Saturday. Maybe we'll hit 60 degrees. Fingers crossed. Oh, maybe, <laughs> just maybe. We can only hope. Right? Brittany, thank you. You're welcome.